here in the heart of Shinjuku at the Levi's store. It's an amazing store and I'm here to get some denim customized. As you guys know, I have done this previously in London, but I can already tell that this is on a completely different level. So yeah, let's go inside. now is I take the denim pieces that I like so I don't really know what I'm gonna get just yet because there is so much to choose from obviously you have your classic 501s but there really is so many other options here so I take those pieces and I take them to the customization shop where I get them ripped up I get patches on them you know whatever I want they can do for me which I think is really really cool the one thing I love about this most is that Levi's really is such a cool brand and they've been around for years they've been around for maybe 170 plus years but I love how they're constantly reinventing themselves and staying relevant. The whole customization idea as well I think is really cool. I mean, guys nowadays, you know, especially me and you guys that watch my channel, we're all about showing our personality through what we wear and being that kind of a bit more individual, but staying on trend at the same time. That's what I think Levi are doing perfectly here is, you know, Levi is one of the main denim brands. Everyone knows them. But with this customization shop, with the rips and the badges, we really can be that little bit more individual. So what is a really popular item that people always come in and ask for? Okay, um, 501 CT we have, it means 501 custom and tape. Okay. Everybody oh, knows 501 is yeah. our icon, yeah. and like we have um, many tailor shops in worldwide, mm. and celebrity like come and they say they love 501, yeah. but they want to wear like a modern way, yeah. like tapers. And we hear the opinion, yeah. and then we learned like 501 like paper silhouette. Yeah. So this is what this comes from. That's so cool. Yeah. That is really cool. And yeah. is this exclusive to this store, or can you now find customized and tapered everywhere? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. Yes. So this is um, our story. Amazing. Yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. I have to try on a pair of those. Yeah. <laughs> for this lighter wash denim and after hearing the story of the customized and tapered 501 I think that's so cool that they actually took that feedback on board and that's all here from the tailor shop so now they actually sell it which I think is really really cool so I had to try it on and the fit is perfect it's like a 501 with all the changes that you want it done to it but it has got a few rips in the jeans already so just here but I think I want more I'm not used to just having two rips in my jeans now, so we're going to head over to the tailor shop, which is just here, have a bit of a consultation and see what they can do for me. up here now in the Levi store as you saw I had a real hands-on tailoring experience which I think was really really cool I mean it's one thing seeing 
you know, placement of where the rips are going to go, but actually having them put on you and having the rips kind of taped onto the jean as well, I thought was a really, really cool idea. And it's just nice to see exactly where the rips are going to sit, um, just to make sure they're all in the perfect position. And I'm getting like a little Levi's badge on the back as well, just to make it feel much more authentic. You can take up to a week for um, the item to be finished, which is completely understandable. We are in the middle of Tokyo, so it's a very, very busy store when they are open. So yeah, I just can't wait to receive it in the post. They're gonna ship it back to me in London, and then, yeah, I can't wait to show you the finished result. Okay, so obviously we're back in the UK now, and they've arrived, my jeans arrived this morning. Um, here they are. <laughs> I was gonna do an unboxing of them, but I kind of forgot about them. Not forgot about them, but I ordered so much stuff from Japan that um, when it did come I was like, oh, what's this? Because I completely forgot. And then it was this, and they are really, really nicely uh, packaged as well. Yeah, so let's take a look at them. I've just been editing all my footage from the Levi store, which obviously you've already just seen. And it just reminded me of how stylish like the Japanese were. Just out on the street, everyone was so well put together, and all their looks were very, very simple, but very personal as well very individual and everyone just looked immaculate. So as we can see through the little window that was on the package, they put the little Levi logo there that I asked for. It's really cool to see the colour again. I don't actually own a pair of jeans in this kind of very light wash. I've got a lot of black and a lot of indigo denim. So it'll be nice, especially with the warmer seasons coming around soon, it'll be nice to have something a little bit lighter. Then of course you've got the, um, all the labelling here and here like on every denim. Oh they're so cool! Oh, they're so much cooler than I remember, like, obviously I just had bits stuck to me, but I kind of forgot what we did. So yeah, one thing I don't really like about uh, ripping your own jeans is how fresh and new the rips always look. But here, I don't know how they've done it, but they look really worn. Yeah, they, they look like nice worn rips, not that horrible new fresh cut line. And the same on the other side as well, like, I love my ripped jeans, but I can't just do the two rips in the jean anymore, which, which is what these originally were. Um, she's done an incredible job. I mean, she was really cool anyway. The girl's style was really, really cool. I'm rambling on, but yeah, oh, I love them. One thing you saw in the video was the girl um, tapering up my jeans, like kind of cropping them. And a kind of trend that was happening in Japan that I noticed was a lot of people had the really classic boot cut jean, but they had cut it short, they cropped it. So it kind of like, it kind of looked like a completely new fit of jeans. So you know the bootleg is a little bit slim, then goes out. This was a little bit slim, then went out a tiniest bit for it cropped off. And it looked really cool and really relaxed. And it looked great with boots, converse, um, trainers as well. It was just a really cool alternative to having a roll up or a crop. Which I didn't get on these because obviously it's a 501, they're not boot cut. But um, I did get them cropped a little bit more as well. So they're going to fit nicely on top of... I don't know if you saw that. So they're going to fit nicely on top of boots, um, on top of trainers as well. So I'm going out later to see a couple of friends just to catch up, so really super chilled, really casual. So I'll take a picture of my outfit later today. So I already know exactly what I'm going to wear, I've got it all planned out in my brain. And I of course really want to wear these jeans, I want to show them off the moment I get them. So I've already had this outfit planned out in my brain for ages. The reason I love colder weather is because of the layers. You can wear so many layers and still feel comfortable. And this is why I'm not a huge fan of summer, because you're very limited to what you can wear. And layering is all about experimenting with the different lengths of your layers. Of course, a long line is here to stay, it's going to be around for a little while as well. So we'll start with the first layer and go out. This is a striped long sleeve, long line top from own character. What I like about this one is the thumb holes that are in there as well. This is a very oversized long sleeve t-shirt, which I like because it is a really cool finishing touch. Next, my sweatshirt is from Villa London. What I like about this is just your average grey sweatshirt, but it's got a bit of a distressed look going on in there, which I quite like. It kind of complements the rips in the jeans as well. Very subtle though and not too over the top. And the top layer is a jacket from a Scandinavian brand called Sam So and Sam So. And what I like about this is it is extremely light so you can wear all your layers in winter without getting too hot as well. And I like the way this jacket works with my grey jumper and the blue of the jeans which is kind of bringing all these different colours together. Then obviously we have my new jeans from the Levi's Tailor Shop which I'm still in love with, I think they're so cool. And we're finishing the look off with these palladium boots, just sticking to that more natural tone that kind of complements that green tone, just bringing all these colours together with a little bit of contrast trust and the stripes as well. Like I said, this is a super casual outfit, um, nothing really special, but that's what I like about these jeans is I can wear them with an Oxford shirt, some Chelsea boots and still look pretty smart, or I can wear them completely, completely dressed down with a basic t-shirt and trainers and they're still going to look really cool. 
And that's the whole point of the Levi Taylor shop, is you have your classic item, which is the denim, a timeless piece. But nowadays it's all about making your style your own, and that's what the Taylor shop really allows you to do. Taking that classic on-trend item, then really customizing and tailoring to suit your taste. As you can see, there's been an Icon Asia logo in the top corner throughout the whole video, and that's because they are the ones that brought me out to Japan, which I am forever grateful for. Japan is literally a dream come true for me, so I was very lucky I got to go and extremely grateful. And they managed to set up this whole Levi video for me as well, the whole tailoring experience, so shout out to them. If you're into your skincare, your hair, your beauty, everything like that, you should check out Icon Asia YouTube channel, which of course I'm going to link down below and all their social channels as well. Guys, I want to know if you had the chance to go to the Levi Taylor shop, what exactly you would have done. Give me a little bit of inspiration for your next purchase as well, and as always, leave your comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. But that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.